Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Google Alerts is a handy tool that can help you to monitor the web for interesting new content. Now, in case you're unaware, Google Alerts basically makes it possible for you to be notified about the different news, information, and content that you actually want to see and view on the web and online. Because as many of you will know, the internet is full of tons of information and content. So if you just want to get through and filter through all the clutter, you can create an alert about all the different content, news, and information that you actually want to see and view online. Now, another um, reason why a whole lot of different people do use Google Alerts is because the tool can give you a heads up using me on the web um, when your name is used or mentioned somewhere online. So especially in today's social media climate, you can just use the tool using me on the web um, to monitor your social media platforms or on a personal level if you just want to see when your name is mentioned or viewed online as mentioned. So in today's video, we're just going to have a quick step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to use Google Alerts in case you didn't know. Now it goes without saying that obviously you need to be signed into Google Alerts with the account that you want to get the alert for. And yeah, we can head to the search, create an alert about, and I'm just going to use Brent Tech. Uh, that's the simplest and safest option for the purpose of today's video. So once we've, we've typed in um, that content, that we want to get the alert for, you will see this will create an email alert and then it will give you that email address. And now here we have a couple of different options. Now I'm going to leave these options all at default, but just to give you a general idea, how often do we get an alert? At most once a day, as it happens, at most once a week, sources, automatic news, blogs, web, video, books, discussion, finance. You can change your language, your region, how many, only the best results, all results, and then delivered to the email address you are signed in with, or an RSS feed. And then, yeah, we can create an alert for that content or that topic. And it's popped it in the alerts menu. And obviously, this um, can have an indefinite amount of alerts that you want to be notified for, which can just carry on indefinitely in this menu. I'm just using one example for the purpose of today's video. And once you've created that alert, you can always come back and edit that and change that accordingly and then you can hide options and just X out of that and you can delete that alert if it's no longer long, no longer required and if you click on the gear icon the settings yeah we have some extra options that you may find useful you can choose when to receive your alerts delivery time and you can obviously change that to any time of the day digest receive all alerts in a single email click on that and then you can once again change that at most once a day at most once a week and then that will obviously deliver that to that email account and save and that's now saved those different options in the gear settings icon and menu and then as mentioned you can use me on the web to find out when your name is mentioned or used online and just to keep it simple and safe i'm just going to use brent tech once again we click on the create alert icon and button and there we go now we've created an alert and that will notify me when um, my youtube channel once again gets used or mentioned online and on a personal level if you just pop your name in there and um, it will just as mentioned let you know when your name um, is searched for used or mentioned online and once again you can change and edit those settings and that those options accordingly delete that and then obviously change your delivery time digest as shown so that's just a quick walkthrough on how to use google alerts as a handy option and tool to monitor the web for interesting new content if you are interested and i'll leave a link in the description to google alerts if you would like to just um, use it for easy reference at a later stage so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one